Tequila. Tequila. Hi guys, Brian the Scare Lion back with another video and we are joined once again by Pterodactyl Tom. Pterodactyl Tom. I didn't pick that name by the way. Please don't judge me for that. He picked the name Pterodactyl Tom. I'm a pterodactyl. <laughs> Basically today we are doing our predictions for TLC. The match card, what do you think? It's got potential to be a good Mm, but it does look a bit 50-50. Aye. It's the best way you can say it, really, 50-50. I don't know, I reckon, I reckon they could actually pull for a way. This actually been a great pay-per-view just for, like, one or two matches. Well, either way, let us get into the first match. The first match that we've actually got is the finals of the WWE Mixed Match Challenge. This is going to be Team Mahalisha against... Arturif and Carmella, probably my favourite tag team in this whole tournament. Who have you got in this one and why? I've got because I think they're going to just do what WWE want to do. Like they always do, I reckon they're going to have Jinder Mahal and Alicia Fox win. You going with that? Yeah, because the, the, the winners get the uh, 30th entrance spot, don't they, yeah. in the Rumble. And I reckon that WWE are going to be absolutely stupid and have Jinder Mahal win. Well, for me, I'm going the opposite direction. I'm going to say Arturif and Carmella are going to win this. I just, re like, I said it jokingly at the beginning of all of this with the Mixed Match Challenge. I said I would just love it if they won. And do you know what? They're in with a fucking chance. So next we've got the WWE Cruiserweight Championship match, which is Buddy Murphy defending against Cedric Alexander. Uh, yep, last time these two had a fight. It was amazing. Mm, it was fucking brilliant. I know that I really like Cedric Alexander, but I think he's had his time as champion. I think this is Buddy Murphy's time. Buddy Murphy is just going to run riot across him. Oh, I'm going in the complete opposite direction. Cedric Alexander is picking up, I'm saying. And then that's when they're finally pushing Mustafa Ali. Mustafa Ali gets the title after Cedric Alexander. Oh, 100%. I think uh, the next title match... Mustafa Ali should be taking it. I mean, yep. look, he proved himself on fucking SmackDown. Like, he looked incredible against Daniel Bryan. No. Next up, we have Randy Orton versus Rey Mysterio in a chairs match. A lead up that's been kind of brutal. I've, I've enjoyed it. It's like what wrestling is. It's meant to be brutal. I love the way they've gone with Randy Orton. Mm. This reminds you old Randy Orton, you know, like legend kind of, legend kind of style. Like mm. when they had this feud way, Mick Foley. I, I've got Randy Orton. Like they kind of keep having Randy Orton brutalizing Rey Mysterio and humiliating Rey Mysterio. We are Randy or Randy Orton then again. Well, I think this is going to be the first one that we agree on. I'm going to take Randy Orton here as well. I think if you really want to push Randy Orton as this brutal, brutal fucking heel, a chairs match is the perfect time to do it. Uh, against a little man as well, so I can actually just run over him. Exactly, so make, make him look like this fucking brutal bully. Yeah, this is Randy Orton's best storyline in a long, long time. Aye, he got pushed in so fucking much, it's because he became predictable and everything. I mean, aye, he, had that, he had that feud with Bray White, Bray White for the WWE Championship. Let's not talk about that, that, that was, was fucking <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> Next match, we've got Natalia against Ruby Riot and this distasteful, disgusting, horrible feud. I'm just lost for words with WWE, it just reminds you the the whole Charlotte Flair brother thing. I don't know, like, with with what Natalia said about the fact that this kind of gives a dad one last run, it does kind of feel a little more wholesome, but I think WWE uses death too often. Yeah. Especially when it comes to the women, if you've noticed. In this match, I think I'm... Well, actually, I think it's going to be obvious. Yeah. They've either got to have Natalia win it just to make her the big hero in a distasteful storyline, or they're going to have Ruby Riot win it just to push her as a full-on heel, but I think that will have a really negative impact. Uh, yeah, well, so, Natalia. Yeah, I'm going with t Natalia after everything that Ruby Riot said and done. <sighs> Next, we're on to... 
a bit of a stupid match in my opinion. It's Elias versus Bobby Lashley in is it a ladder match or a guitar match? Well, basically the rule is uh, a guitar is going to be hanging over the ring, and the first person to get a ladder and grab the guitar is allowed to use it. Shillelagh on a pole, everybody! It's Yay. guitar on a pole. Just <sighs> wear the pole. It's it's fucking ridiculous. Give these two a, gr a good match. Like, Bobby Lashley has become a little more entertaining as a heel. And Elias is fucking incredible. Elias right. deserves a lot more. You still hate Bobby Lashley, don't you? Well, in this match, give Elias the win. That's all I'm saying. Give Elias the win after this stupid shit with Leo Rush. Right, give Elias the win, but I'm going to say they're going to give Bobby Lashley the win. So you're going Bobby Lashley, I'm going right. Elias. Even though I hate it because Elias is <laughs> one of my favourites. Right, this is literally his favourite wrestler in the main roster of WWE against his least favourite. Yeah. So next we have Finn Balor Balor. Did you like that? <laughs> Finn Balor Balor. Whatever will be, will be. Versus Drew McIntyre. The Irish against the Scot. Oh, I didn't think of that. This is Ireland against Scotland in yes, a match. Yes, it is. And... You know, these two put on an incredible match. Aye, the, the, they're both absolutely fucking amazing in the ring. If you got in this though, because for me, I, I've got I've got Drew McIntyre. They need, to, they need to push him some more, because I'm saying he's getting the title at Royal Rumble. Taking the Scottish Terminator. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going with the Irish man in this. <laughs> Finn Balor has been pushed down for way too long. It's finally time for Finn Balor to rise up and reclaim his place in the top fucking spot. Up next we have the Triple Threat Tag Team Match for the Smackdown Tag Team Championships. This is The Bar versus The New Day versus The Usos. Both The New Day and The Usos are looking to become six time champs in this match. Uh, I'm saying The Usos in, it. in this one. The Usos come away with a victory and then have them gone on a longer run again with their titles because the long run with the tag team titles was actually brilliant. I think the New Day have had enough accomplishments. Right. So I think uh, I, I think it's time for the Usos to get that W to get that yep. one up over the Aye. New Day. So next up we've got Braun Strowman against Baron Corbin and a TLC match if it actually happens. Well, I uh, the thing behind it is we don't know if he's recovered from his shoulder surgery enough yet. Uh, I don't know. They could have him coming back as the big monster man. Like, you know, he said all that shit on his shoulder and then they have him come back early, no fully recovered and then he puts over Baron, well, he beats Baron Corbin and then it takes a little t bit of time to recover a bit more before his match at uh, Royal Rumble. So you're saying Braun to win this match? I I'm saying Braun to win this match. For me, I'm going to go in a different direction. I think uh, Braun might not be physically able to do this match. So I'm going to say the guy did the same as what happened at Starcade and Bray Wyatt is going to take his place. No. Uh, and I think we'll see Bray Wyatt win the match and stop Baron Corbin from becoming champ. Champ? GM. Aye, uh, GM. So next up, we've got what could be match of the night, which is Seth Rollins against Dean Ambrose mm. for the Intercontinental Championship. Your possible match of the night. Yes, my possible match of the night. My, my, my possible match of the night, I. It is going to be an incredible match. Well, it's Seth versus Dean. Of course it's going to be a fucking incredible match. In this match, uh, I'm going to take Dean Ambrose. Aye. I, I want to see a heel Dean with this fucking championship. I don't want to go against Seth Rollins, but I, I'm also saying Dean because I'm thinking Dean can have a long run with it and they can stop passing this championship between Seth Rollins and fucking Dolph Ziggler. So next up, we have the Raw Women's Championship. This is Ronda Rousey versus Nia Jax. One, two, three, Ronda Rousey. So next up, we've got the WWE Championship match, which is, it's a normal match. Mm. Daniel Bryan against AJ Styles, which should have actually been a TLC match. Aye, but I feel like this one doesn't need to be a TLC match. I've, I've got Daniel Bryan, I'm saying Daniel Bryan's walking away with a win. Keeping it well. Uh, like, have Daniel Bryan 
walk into WrestleMania as champion. Have have a triple threat at WrestleMania for the for the WWE Championship. With AJ Styles fighting for it again and some more Uh For me, I'm going to say that AJ Styles is going to win it. Uh, it's literally a way for them to set it up so that it's going to be AJ Styles versus Daniel Bryan at Royal Rumble. But they'll put some sort of stim uh, stimulation? Stimulation. Stimulation there. Uh, some sort of stipulation into it just to get that little bit more excitement. I do want to point out the fact that I said I would continuously say AJ Styles anyway. Now, on to the final match and the one that I am so looking forward to. We have got Charlotte Flair, Asuka, and the man herself, Becky Lynch, in a triple threat TLC match for the SmackDown Women's Championship. This match is going to be Fucking incredible, I guarantee it now. One thing I would like to point out, WWE tried to claim it to be the first ever women's TLC match. I'm pretty sure someone who is currently with WWE has already had a TLC match. And that woman is Ember Moon under the ring name Athena against another wrestler called Hanaya. Well, they can actually claim that it's the first ever women's triple threat TLC. Uh, but they were trying to pass it off as just the first ever women's TLC match, which won't fly with me, WWE. <laughs> I'm, I'm watching. But either way, in this match with so much incredible potential, who are you going with? It's, uh, it's a hard one. It's like, fucking it's, difficult. It's one of the toughest ones of the night. You've, you've got Becky Lynch, who, who, needs, who needs the W after fucking uh, missing out on the Ronda Rousey match. You've got Charlotte Flair, who needs the W because... In the heel turn, mm -hmm. and, and you need ask you need to ask to have the W because they just buried the fuck out of you. She's but been mistreated. I've, I've got to have Asuka for this one. I'm saying that's Asuka's time. Basically, for me, I'm going to pick Asuka as well. What's going to happen is Becky Lynch is going to win the Rumble, uh, and Becky Lynch is going to go on to challenge Ronda Rousey in the match that we all want to fucking see: the man versus. The fucking ba baddest woman on the planet. Aye, the man versus the baddest woman on the planet. Main event WrestleMania for the Raw Women's Championship. In the last uh, video, I did say that we were going to do the thumbtacks this time run, But we have changed what it's actually going to be. Yeah. Pterodactyl Tom, would you like to tell them? Well, the ones that we get rang against each other, that's a many, like... Chair shots we take to the back and it's not going to be some of the one of those little you know shitty plastic things it's actually going to be a steel steel chair so like the, an actual replica so the thing is this time there isn't going to be a losing person each of us are taking chair shots yep. for how many we get rang and we're doing an actual steel chair <laughs> we're fucking oh it's a pretty stacked card as well, like, there is so many matches on it. We're, we're going to be crippled after this. <laughs> but aye, we hope you enjoyed this video, uh, and if you did like it, give it a like. Comment down below um, if you think Pterodactyl Tom needs to shave his beard. No, I don't. I think I do. <laughs> I, look, I look Amish. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you can always stay up to date on my content. And, aye, peace. We'll catch you in the next one.